Alright everyone, welcome back to the channel. It's Meta here from Chill TCG. Today, we're back. Uh, we're doing something that, again, we don't typically do a whole lot uh, on the channel. Um, and uh, it, luckily, you know, thanks to the amazing people over at Pokemon, uh, we're able to do it a little bit more every once in a while. Um, and that's when new sets come out. They send us, uh, you know, a collection of the newest products. Um, and uh, this video, and, and, and right now, uh, it's no different. So, we're going to be opening two of the... Of the elite trainer boxes uh, for chilling rains, we actually have one of each kind here. So we have the ice rider over here, and then we have the uh, the shadow rider on the other side. So two ETBs. Uh, I don't know. I think it's 16 packs in total, but we're gonna break them down. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and look through what all the great uh, you know different things that you get in these elite trainer boxes. I'm super super excited. Um, again, big shout out to Pokemon for for hitting us up and and uh, kind of you know supporting myself as a content creator but also the community uh, we're gonna be doing a lot of giveaways as well um, I have some extra stuff that I'll be giving away on Twitter here in a little bit so definitely go check that out um, go check out my Twitter we're also gonna be running uh, you know obviously we run PTCTO tournaments every week that's what we do here on the channel but uh, we're gonna be adding chilling rains packs to the prize support uh, once that becomes legal on PTCGO but uh, yeah, definitely go check it out. I'm really excited. All right, guys, we're going to get right into it. It's going to be a shorter video than the booster box we did recently. Um, it's not going to take us that long, uh, but uh, it's going to be super fun. I really can't wait. Hopefully, we get some good pulls, so let's get right into it. All right, guys, uh, welcome back. Let's get right into it. I am super, super excited. I took these guys out of the plastic uh, just because you know it's a little bit difficult to do uh, on video, but um, we're going to start off by opening the Shadow Rider version. So they did this similarly in other sets. They did it with Battle Styles. Uh, they did it with base set. They have two different types of ETBs. Um, they typically uh, typically come with like, you know, the box is, is different, branded different, um, color different, and then also like the dice and the counters and stuff in the box are different. But other than that, uh, you get pretty much the same stuff from each product. Uh, we were lucky enough to get one of each, uh, but we're going to be starting off with the Shadow Rider box here. So I'm going to go ahead and just take that sleeve off. Whoa, I forgot. It comes with the, um, the set manual. I'm going to put this here on the ground. Uh, so this is the box. It's going to be kind of like a traditional opening. Uh, we're going to get to the packs here at the end, but uh, right off the bat, we're just going to go ahead um, and take a look at all of the extra products that come with it. Pokemon does such a good job with these. Um, they're honestly really, really good. They come with this awesome box to keep all your cards in, um, but uh, we'll take a look at some of the other goodies that come inside. You guys probably already know uh, what goes on with these uh, trainer boxes, but uh, before we do that, I kind of just want to take a look at the manual here uh, because these are super cool. It breaks down some of the cards that are in the set. Um, kind of gives you an idea of how what combinations go together well, um, you know, kind of breaks down a lot of the cards in the set. So definitely really cool, really valuable, especially if you're new to the game. Uh, but if you go towards the back, they actually have the entire, um, let's see if it might be a little bit hard to focus, but they have the entire set list, uh, like in the, in this book, which is really cool. So we see, I got the, you know, Celebes there. Uh, we got Blaziken V and VMAX. We got a Volcano on there. Uh, there's plenty of incredible cards in the set. The Ice Rider right up there, Unreal. Uh, we've got the, uh, Zorora. You know, Articuno, all that good stuff, Sandaconda, Shadow Rider, Zapdos, uh, Moltres, Slowbro, uh, Metagross, all these great, great cards that I uh, hopefully will pull. We got the Blissey Tornadus. But if we go to the back, guys, if we go towards the back, look at all of these alt arts and full art cards. Absolutely insane. This is the type of stuff that we're going to be looking for. Uh, of course, full art supporters, very good. I did open a lot of those in the booster box opening, and then we have the secret rares over here. Uh, so I'm definitely really excited. Look at the gold cards as well. Look at the cards in this set, guys. Uh, this might be new info, just, just in general, but these are the secret rares. We do have a gold electrode, bronzor, um, and snorlax. So this is, uh, of course, you know, the ones from previous sets. They do re-release them as the shiny uh, gold secret rare cards. And then, of course, look at these guys here. Fan of Waves making a return as a as a gold card there. Urn of Vitality uh, making a return as a gold card. Um, but uh, Echoing Horn, uh, you know, Rugged Helmet, you know, Fog Crystal, uh, Welcoming Lantern. These are all new cards in the set. Which are also gold, but you'll notice there's actually three different energy types that you can get as secret gold energies. They're back in the set. Uh, very phenomenal. We get the water, psychic, and fighting. I did pull a psychic in our earlier uh, uh, video, or not video, but off off video. But I, I did open one of these in a Chilling Rains box recently. Uh, the psychic, though, the psychic looks absolutely unreal. But anyway, that's the set list, guys. We're gonna get into it. Uh, just kind of, you know, if you ever pick up these products, you can kind of. It, it's cool that it gives you the entire uh, collection there. Uh, so very nice to get these pl players' guides, is what they're called. But uh, anyway, uh, enough of that. We're going to actually get in and break open the box here. Uh, a lot of you guys were kind of mentioning the, the video quality for the booster box. So what I did was I did a manual. I'm doing manually focused right now on my camera. Uh, so things that are down here are going to be just, uh, you know, permanently fuzzy. But if we bring it up here, it's going to be nice and high quality like that. So, um, you know, keep that in mind. Um, but uh, here it is. Okay, we're going to open the Shadow Rider box. All right, super cool. I'm just going to put the cases here. Oh, 
over to the side. Um, okay, so first off, it comes with a trading card game rule book. So if you're new to the game, uh, or if you just need to catch up on the rules, like I do sometimes, <laughs> um, it actually breaks down the entire uh, sort of rulings and everything that you could possibly need to know to play the actual trading card game competitively, which uh, if you're watching this and you don't know, this is you know kind of what we're all about here on the channel. So definitely super cool. Uh, they come, I mean, you can get those in pretty much all Pokemon products, but always nice to have it. We're going to take out this supporting cardboard here. Again, the packaging is very high quality. And of course, uh, in the ETBs, it comes with eight uh, booster packs. So we're going to be uh, opening these. We're going to wait to the end. Uh, but awesome for sure that, we, oop, that we've got our eight packs. Uh, I'm going to put these just right here for now. All right. Now, what else comes in the Elite Trainer box? Well, a lot of really cool stuff comes with a code. Um, and in the code, you can enter this on PTCGO. You actually get a custom custom sleeves and a custom deck box, um, you know, for entering this code, which is also just really, really cool. So, you know, definitely pretty valuable to have that stuff as well in the, uh, you know, for PTCGO. Um, on top of that, it comes with, uh, I'm not sure how many sleeves are in here. It's probably like 80 or 100, probably 100, or maybe it's, I don't know exactly how many sleeves. I should probably, uh, I could probably check if I read the back of the box. I'm not sure, but it comes with very cool, um, you know, branded sleeves. The Ice Rider ones are different, so these are the Shadow Rider. Um, again, if you guys are sleeve collectors, I know some of you guys are. Um, you know, you might be pretty interested in this. Uh, they've recently sort of upgraded the quality as well, so these are um, a little bit more matte finish. They're not as, like, kind of smooth as they were. Um, again, probably not super uh, viable options if you're looking to play competitively out, but uh, for keeping your cards and protecting them, uh, looking cool. These are absolutely phenomenal, so I do really like uh, collecting all of those sleeves that uh, you get from the Elite Trainer Boxes. On top of that, you get an entire block of energy cards. I don't know how many are in here. It's like 12 of each energy type or something crazy like that. Uh, but uh, it's also super cool. I mean, realistically, you get a couple ETBs, you'll have enough energies for any deck that you'll need. So uh, again, awesome that they just come with these. I have a bunch of these at this point, but I guess you can never have enough energies, I suppose. And on top of that, uh, it comes with dividers. So these are actually really cool, um, you know, for your collection to kind of separate uh, all the different types of cards in a box or whatnot. These are these are dividers, and they actually fit perfectly well just in the box right here. So if you're you know collecting uh, all your cards or you want to store them in these boxes, which actually do work very well uh, for that purpose, um, you know you get these nice dividers. It comes with four, and again these all have the Shadow Rider stuff on them. When we open the Ice Rider box, you'll see that it's actually you know everything's kind of branded differently, which is cool that they do that. Um, all right, next up again we just have our poison and uh, burn you know, indicators here, little tokens. Uh, so you gotta love that. And then personally, one of my favorite things about all the ETBs are the unique dice that you get um, and damage counters for each uh, for each ETB. So um, these ones look absolutely unreal. I like kind of that tie-dye, like watercolor, uh, purple and blue fade there. Let's take these babies out and, and we'll take a look at them. I collect these, I, every time I get an ETB, I always save all the dice. Um, so it's it's very cool to collect these. Um, and they're very nice as well. So this is the dice. I, I, we're going just super in-depth, but there's the, the set logo there. Uh, the dice is like a nice purple. Uh, it looks super cool. Purple and like light blue, so I like that a lot. And then the damage counters here. Uh, these ones are super cool. I just I just love it. I don't know. Such like a, It's kind of like a weird thing. Uh, this one here is like entirely purple, though. So maybe that... <laughs> I don't know. It doesn't really match the rest of them, which is kind of funny. Um, but... Uh, oh, I dropped it. Cool nonetheless. Cool nonetheless. So... Very awesome. Okay. All right. So that is everything that comes in an Elite Trainer box. Uh, of course, we are going to open the other one, and then we're going to open all the packs. Uh, we're going to go quicker for the next one. I'm not going to explain everything, but we'll take a look and see what comes in the uh, Ice Rider uh, ETB as well. Um, so very cool. I'm going to put this stuff to the side. Bear with me. I know it's kind of, you know, it's... <laughs> It's, I'm sure you guys probably already know all this stuff, but it might be cool to just kind of take a look. So here we go. We're going to open the Ice Rider box, uh, colored a little bit differently. This one's blue. The other one was more purple. Again, the, the, the cover actually for the, for the, the player's guide is different, but everything inside is exactly the same as we just took a look at. Um, all right. So let's crack this baby open. Now let's get right into it and just see uh, if we can kind of find any, uh, you know, notable differences, more players or, you know, rule books there. Uh, again, eight packs, so we'll have 16 in total to open uh, after this. More tokens there. Um, yeah, okay, so the only things that are going to be different probably are the dividers here. So these ones are cool, um, and they're actually different on either side. I didn't notice that, but these is the Ice Rider, uh, so it's nice. Again, I'll just show the other ones as well while I'm at it. Uh, bear with me. Okay, so these are the Ice Riders. These are the Shadow Riders, purple, blue. That's kind of the theme of the set. 
Uh, definitely super cool. More dividers. You can never have enough. Um, ooh, and the dice. We'll take a look at that in a second. Um, again, more energies. You know, another stack of energies. Um, and here are the sleeves for the Ice Rider. Uh, very similar to the other sleeves. Uh, very, very similar. Um, you know, in, in sort of the design, purple, kind of weird wavy lines. These ones are jagged lines, blue. I like it. I, I really like the style, you know, the stylistic choices they did with this set. Uh, so definitely super cool. These are the sleeves for the Ice Rider box. And, uh, yep, the energies and whatnot. Okay, yeah, cool. I should probably just keep things in the box. That would probably make things a lot easier, when, wouldn't you say? Anyway, these dice are very similar to the other one, but they're kind of a light blue and blue fade instead of having purple in them. Uh, but let's, uh, you know... Let's go ahead and just check these out as well. I believe the set symbol is the same, though. Um, we'll double check that. Jeez, come on. Can I get this open? All right, cool. We're opening dice, guys. This is a dice opening channel. Anyway, here are the uh, the Ice Rider dice. Uh, let me know. Which one do you guys like better? Uh, this one's definitely more blue tinted. Uh, yeah, I believe the set symbol is the same. Um, but uh, the counters, I don't know. I kind of like these counters better than the purple ones. I don't know. Let's uh, see if we can compare. Just for... You know, purposes sake. So, sweet. Yeah, I mean, very cool. Awesome. I just, again, I love collecting this type of stuff. It really just uh, does it for me. I don't, I'm not sure why. All right. Anyway, uh, those are the, uh, the the additional products that you get in the Chilling Rain's uh, ETB, or Chilling Rain ETB. That was another thing you guys got upset with me for. It's Chilling Rain. For some reason, for like weeks, I thought it was Chilling Rain's. I just never really read it correctly. Um, but it's Chilling Rain. So, again, that's all the stuff you guys get in the Chilling Rain ETBs. Uh, cool to open both of them. Again, huge shout-out to the Pokemon Company. Uh, really happy to be able to, of course, uh, you know, receive products from them and, and kind of review it, showcase it. Uh, but we're going to get into all the packs. We have Each ETB comes with eight packs. We have 16 in total that we'll crack open here. I don't believe there's any guaranteed pulls that you get from ETBs, like pull rates, like in, in a booster box, where you might be guaranteed a certain amount of pulls. Um, ETB is probably not, uh, I don't think they're guaranteed like that, but, um, we have a nice stack here. I think it's fairly likely that we should be able to pull something pretty cool out of these. Um, and, uh, if you guys want to see another opening, I did, of course, open an entire booster box, uh, the other day on the channel, so you guys can go check that out. Uh, I kind of discussed the cards as we kind of went through them. I'll probably do that less today, um, just because I don't want to reiterate myself and go through a lot of the cards. Um, but, uh, of course, you know, we're going to make videos on all the decks and stuff when it comes out. So, all right. Let's get right into it, the moment you guys have all been waiting for, 10 minutes into the video. Uh, if you guys didn't haven't skipped ahead at this point, I'm actually going to be pretty surprised. Uh, but uh, anyway, we're going to put the code cards over there. And uh, what's the... Okay, yeah. So we'll do the card trick. One, two, three, four. To the front. All right, let's go. So the camera... Hopefully the camera quality is better. I don't know if it will actually be better, so I do apologize. But anyway, we got the fire energy there. Uh, we got Doctor. Ledian. Peonia, Sobble, Ladyba, Squovit, Crab Brawler, Score Bunny. Ooh, we have a reverse Frost Blast, which is a hollow rare in the set, so this is a reverse hollow rare. Uh, definitely super cool. I like Frost Blast a lot with that Frost over ability. And on the back, we've got a Galarian Weezing. There is a normal Weezing in the set as well. They both go together phenomenally. Uh, Going to create uh, some pretty cool deck lists in the future, I, I, I assume, once the set releases. So definitely uh, very, very, very cool. Awesome. Nothing too crazy there. I mean, that Frost Lass is nice. It's awesome to always pull Frost Lass. Uh, that card is very, very cool. Make sure we don't open this backwards. Yep, okay. All right. Let's uh, get rid of that code card there. I am so bad at doing openings. Like, I'm not. this is not an opening channel. Uh, and if you're new to the channel and you're watching this, we cover the content competitively. We don't necessarily open the cards. Uh, Justify Gloves. Oops. Ooh, Lucky Energy there. I love Lucky Energy. It's probably not too playable, but very cool card. Yeah, we're not really an opening channel. Although, you know, when you know when when we get the chance to open the product early from Pokemon, uh, we're definitely going to do that. But if you're interested in the competitive card game, which is probably why you're subscribed, or if you like to play in the Chill Series tournaments, um, you know, we you know hopefully we're you know kind of covering all the bases, doing some openings here. Wall Rain Reverse, and on the back uh, we have a Golurk. So two packs in, nothing too crazy yet. Nothing too crazy at all. Uh, but yeah, again, you know, we're more of a competitive-based channel. Um, I myself like to play the game competitively, although I'm not a super avid, uh, you know, Pokemon TCG competitive player. Uh, I don't have too much experience, but uh, we do showcase a lot of competitive decks, um, and we showcase other players who play in the tournaments who are very, very competitive and very talented at the game. So, um, you know, you do get your actual competitive gameplay thrown in there sometimes. 
uh, even if it's not me here. I love the cast forms. I love uh, that new archetype. I don't know how good it's going to be. Hopefully someone can create a cool list for those cast form cards. We have a Deerling on the back. And then behind that, we have a Hollow Rapid Strike Weavile. This one is super cool. It really is. Um, I love that first attack two hit KO. So, uh, you know, during your next turn, if the defending Pokemon is damaged from an attack from a Rapid Strike Pokemon, it just gets KO'd no matter what. This, uh, this attack doesn't do damage, but, um, you know, can guarantee a KO next turn, which is definitely super cool. And then Nasty Plot, search your deck for up to two cards to put them in, uh, put them in your hand, then shuffle your deck. That actually is really, really cool. Uh, if Marnie didn't exist, this card would probably be a lot better than it is. Uh, but yeah, Weavile, love to see it. Love to see it. Weavile's also just one of my favorite Pokemon in general. Um, just a very, very cool Pokemon. All right, we're cracking them open, guys. We're gonna bust through, um, bust through packs. That is, I, you know, that might have come out weird. Okay, anyway, uh, water energy, path to the peak. Again, probably just gonna absolutely destroy the format when it comes out. Incredible stadium card, far fetched. Uh, we've got cast form, Larvesta, Sobble. The new Intellion lineup is super good in the set as well. Uh, Ladyba. Okay, so we have another reverse Hollow, and now there's gonna be the single strike Urshifu here. Uh, which, um, you know, there are single uh, prize variants of single and rapid strike Urshfu in this set. One's dark, one's water type, so definitely super cool. And on the back, we have a hollow Galarian Slowking. So there's actually a Slowking V and VMAX in this set. I didn't know there was a, a single prize one as well. So this one says, it's got a, what is it? A mysterious Potion. So once during your turn, you may choose one Pokemon and flip a coin. I have heads that heals 90 damage from that Pokemon. If Tails put three damage counters onto it, uh, could actually be really powerful. Again, uh, Glimwood Tangle doesn't work with this. Um, because, of course, it isn't an attack, but healing 90 damage, you know, uh, you know, being able to just kind of proc this ability from it being on the bench is actually really powerful, so it's a really cool uh, card. Uh, high risk, high reward type thing, uh, but definitely pretty cool. Again, I didn't know that they were, um, there were more Slowkings in, uh, single price Slowking in the set. I think Slowking was released with the Crown Tundra in the actual Sword and Shield video game, so I think that's why they've kind of waited um, until now to print, uh, you know, Galarian Slow King uh, and Slowbro cards. Um, so very cool. Uh, here we go. So we've got uh, Dark Energy, Steeny, Weeding Gloves, Karen's Conviction, Single Strike, Arvesta, Mareep, Heracross. Sorry if I'm shaking around a bit. It's hard for me to stay still. Clobopus, uh, Garuki, um, Reverse Viper, Single Strike. And on the back, we have a Galarian Sir Fetched. Okay, so... We haven't gotten any actual, you know, big pulls yet. I believe we're only down like four or five packs. So, you know, we got plenty of time left. I'm, I'm not stressed out. Uh, I'm not stressing at all, you know, but uh, would be very nice. Oops, hopefully I didn't spoil anything. Would be uh, would be very nice uh, to get uh, some awesome new pulls, uh, especially to show you guys. Uh, crushing Gloves, Honey, Impact Energy, Heracrap. Oop, okay, sorry. <laughs> Clopopus, Garuki, uh, Sneasel. Weedle doing uh, pull-ups, sit-ups, not sure. Uh, kind of probably both there. Spiral, energy, rapid strike, reverse, actually, so super kind of cool. And then on the back, we've got, ooh, okay, so we've got a Santa Conda V. This is our first big pull of the box, somewhat big pull. It is a, uh, you know, hyper-rare V card, uh, whatever you they're classified as. I did pull one in my booster box, so it is nothing new to us. I wish this was the V Max. I really love Santa Conda V Max, but we have two Vs, so that is a start. Uh, and it's the start of, hopefully, uh, some more pulls that we will be getting in these last packs here. All right, getting right into it. That one tore open like it was nothing. Uh, we're not looking at the code cards because you know it spoils the surprise. Um, all right, metal energy, justified gloves, weeding gloves. I wanted more gloves after that. That would've been funny. Avery, Ladybug, Porygon, Swirlix, Sneasel, Snover, Dynatry Hill, Reverse, and on the back. Whoa! Let, let's go, guys. Awesome, super awesome. Uh, so we took a look at that in the uh, in the in the player's guide, the manual there uh, for the set. Uh, very cool. So I like this electrode. It's 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 secret rare. It's shiny. You'll notice because he's actually blue. That's something I really like with these gold secret rare uh, Pokemon cards. Is that the Pokemon themselves are actually shiny. Electrode is super cool because again, it's 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 blue instead of red. It's very noticeable. So a uh, very cool card. And uh, Electrode is very good. Buzz Zap Generator, accelerating those energies. Uh, probably going to be one of the best ways to accelerate electric energy after rotation, especially. So, uh, very cool to have this card. A very, very nice pull. Uh, and I love to see that as well. I actually have sleeves on me right now. And I just remembered that. Uh, good thing. So, I'm going to go ahead and we're going to sleeve up this uh, Electrode. Oops, upside down. Awesome. There we go, guys. 
first big pull of the uh let me slide that in there first big pull of the video love to see that we didn't even pull a gold card in our booster box so there we go i'm gonna put the santa card in his sleeve too real quick uh, just so we can you know make sure we protect all the goods there awesome awesome that electro baby i love it man it's you know opening packs is just the best it, you know it really is I, I don't get to open too often uh, i typically don't spend a whole lot of money on packs especially like if i want to build decks i usually just buy um you know the cards uh outright i probably shouldn't be saying that in a video that's sponsored by pokemon <laughs> but um i i suppose it's not illegal to do that so uh, geez, I can't get this pack open. Okay, there we go. But uh, yeah, I mean, definitely support Pokemon. These packs are awesome. The pull rates have been phenomenal. Um, and the products, I mean, the, the, all the extra stuff you get, the sleeves, the counters and stuff, and the ETBs, uh, extremely worth it. I highly suggest you guys go check that out. I'm sure you guys are already all about it. Uh, scroll of Piercing. So that's cool. We have a new set of scrolls. Avery, Thwacky, Swirlix, Sneasel, Snover, uh, Blitzel, Ghastly, Reverse Thunderous. Now, this Thunderous, I, I don't know if I, I've, if I discussed this at all, uh, but this is actually going to be a really good tech, especially post-rotation in a lot of electric-type decks. We have Assisting Spark, so it does 30 damage, and you may attach in uh, a Lightning Energy. Oh, oh, I spoiled it. Sorry. Okay, sorry, guys. Serena on the back. My bad. That's my bad. Uh, assisting Spark. So you get to attach, you do 30 damage, you get to attach a Lightning Energy from your hand to one of your benched Pokemon. So very similar to that Bolt and Electrify attack. Instead of two energies, it's just one, but you do do the 30 damage. So again, it's going to be a decent starting option in a lot of electric type decks, which typically would rather start with Bolton. However, it's a single prize Pokemon that can hit for 130 with 120 HP. It's a basic Pokemon as well. Retreat cost of one. So it's going to be very good to take down those Deciduize and Altarias. Uh, probably, especially after rotation, our best single prize, um, you know, electric type attacker uh, kind of tech inclusion to kind of make sure that we can beat Altaria and whatnot. So uh, definitely really good. It's a reverse as well. I think Thunderous, this is a good card. It really is. Um, I don't, I'm not saying it's, you know, like crazy good or anything like that. I, you know, I just think that uh, similar to maybe like Hoopa in Eternatus, um, you know, I just think that it, it'll have a really good fit in a lot of electric type decks here. Okay. All right, let's take the code card out. Do the card trick. Um, okay. All right. For the front. Uh, doing that, by the way, if you don't know, puts the, the rare card in the back. So it's just good for video purposes. Dark Energy, Dynatrio. Trio. I don't know. I watched other people do it in videos, so that's what I do. I, I'm not sure. Lucky Energy, Larvesta, Sable, Ladybug, Squovit, Crabrawler, Ampharos, Reverse. And on the back, we have a Hollow Rare Tapu Fini Rapid Strike. This one is interesting. I don't know if anyone's really talked much about this. We have Smash Turn. Uh, you may switch this Pokemon with one of your bench Pokemon. 30, uh, 30 uh, damage, which is just, you know, it is what it is. But we have also Ocean Loop 120. Put an energy attached to this Pokemon into your hand. Uh, so it's very interesting. Again, uh, probably a decent single prize, uh, you know, kind of tech inclusion, perhaps, in, in Water-type decks of the future. But I do think that, that the new uh, Rapid Strike Urshifu Hollow uh, in this set that we saw previously in the last video is probably a better option overall, I would say. Um, however, that is a basic Pokemon, so, you know, the Urshifus, the single prize Urshifus are actually stage 1s, so, you know, perhaps, you know, maybe being a, uh, uh, you know, stage 1 by a basic Pokemon uh, might make it a little bit more worth running, who knows. Interesting, though, nonetheless. It's also a Rapid Strike as well, so, there, you know, that could probably help it out in a lot of ways. Psychic Energy, Kakuna, Flannery, Rugged Helmet, oh, sorry, uh, Coughing, Shepit, Squovit, Sveal, Swirlix, we have a Galarian Farfetch'd on the back, and behind him, we have a Gallade. Very cool. I like this because he's got a fighting type, or sorry, a, a psychic type in his attack cost, but he's a fighting type Pokemon. Uh, I, you know, I don't know. They, I don't, they don't do that all the time, I suppose. It's not super um, uncommon, but I don't know. Thought it was, I thought it was cool. Okay, get off my back. I'm allowed to think things are cool. Uh, so, you know, don't, uh, you know, don't get on me for that. Okay, here we go. Uh, Metal Energy, <laughs> Steeny, Karen's Conviction, Weeding Gloves, uh, Larvesta, Mareep, uh, Heracross, Kalabapus, uh, Rapid Strike, Grookey. So, we, I mean, I, you know, the new starter lineups are very cool. Reverse Porygon 2, and on the back we have a Rapid Strike, Kecleon, also a very cool card. Probably not going to be super playable, realistically, but it, it is very cool nonetheless in terms of the concept of it. Um, you know, I don't know, I don't, like, I don't know if it's going to be in a lot of decks, um, but, uh, you know, maybe for like draft or if you're just kind of messing around uh, with your buddies, uh, could be probably a pretty fun card to play with. Okay. Anyway, water energy, Karen's convic conviction, weeding gloves, like a lot of weeding gloves, Porygon 2, Mareep, Ralts, Ralts, uh, cast form, rainy form, 
Oh, jeez. Snover. Oh, my God. They're not. They don't want to pull out. Oh, no. I, oh, oh, I did spoil it. Okay. Uh, Galarian Yamask. Yeah, we have Galarian Chestplate. Reverse. And on the back, we've got a Tornadus V. Super cool. Second V card of this opening video. I do already have a Tornadus V and a Sandaconda V, so nothing new, unfortunately. Uh, but nonetheless, uh, very cool card. Very cool art. Single strike as well. Um... I don't know too much about the VMAX, but I don't think it's anything too, too crazy, um, at least compared to other, um, you know, some of the other VMAXs that are in the, uh, in this set. But, Tornadus, it's, it's a pull. It's a, you know, there we go. It's a card. We're doing it. We're doing things. Okay, opening another pack. We got, uh, after this, we only have three more, so, um, nothing too crazy. I'll tell you what, it's been very hard for me to pull VMAXs, uh, in this set so far. Uh, I've gotten a lot of really, really great pulls, but most of them haven't been VMAX Pokemon. Uh, so that's just something to keep in mind. The centering on this pack especially is a little bit off as well. Um, but you know what? We're not going to fault him for that. Uh, Agatha. Scroll of the Skies. <sighs> Down Tree Hill. Lapras. Blitzel. Aeron. Deerling. Uh, the centering is fixed now, so it's strange. Delibird. Uh, reverse NK. Rapid Strike. And on the back, we've got a Greedent. Um, it's actually a Hollow Greedent as well. Uh, with Brazen Tail, so energy attached to this Pokemon cannot be um, can't be put into your hand or discard pile by the effects of your opponent's um, item or supporter cards, which is such a strange. First of all, just such a strange card in general. It does 90 damage for three, but you just can't remove the energy off of it. So that's a cool ability on this Pokemon. Probably not uh, per se, but definitely just very very interesting <laughs> nonetheless. Um, I did not even know that card existed, so, you know, learn something new every day. This is why we like to open packs. Okay, here we go. One, two, three, four. Ooh, put that, okay, there we go. Grass Energy. Um, we've got Scroll of the Skies, Dynatree Hill, S uh, Steeny, Blitzel, Quillfish. I love that Quillfish. Uh, Slowpoke, Weedle, Calabapus. Reverse Ladyba. And on the back, we have a Surviper. Okay, nothing in that pack. Two more packs to go. They're both Moltres packs as well. Uh, perhaps we will pull, uh, you know, one of those uh, Moltres Vs. I don't have any of them. I don't have the normal one, the full art, or the alt art. So even just getting one of any of the, you know, if any of those would be really cool. That Moltres card is very playable. Super cool art. Very cool Pokemon. So uh, that would be very cool to, to pull it. But uh, here we go. Expedition Uniform. Old Cemetery. Uh, Reboot. Hatena. Aaron, 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 uh, Venipede, Bound Sweet, Fire Resistant Gloves, and on the back, woo, let's go guys, there we go, uh, we have a full art Agatha, she looks scary in that art, look at that, uh, the centering is a bit off, for sure, on that, it's not perfect, but you know what, uh, definitely cool, nonetheless, shout out to Agatha there. Uh, move up to three damage counters from your active Pokemon to your opponent's active Pokemon. I can see this actually seeing a lot of play, maybe as like a one or two of in a deck, um, just to kind of do that extra damage. It's similar to Leon, except it also heals three. Uh, so it's just a very interesting card nonetheless. Agatha, uh, very cool full art as well. We got to sleeve this guy up. I don't have full art Agatha yet. If you watch the booster box opening, I did open a lot of full art uh, supporters. Agatha was not one of them. So we're like almost completing our full art supporter collection for Chilling Rains. Definitely super cool. All right, guys, last pack. Last pack, Magic, uh, Moltres. What do you think it's going to be? I think it's going to be a good good pack. You know? I mean, let me know. Let me know. I, you know. Who knows? Not me. I don't know much. Uh, but we'll see. Okay, here we go. One, two, three, four. Make sure I don't mess that up on the last pack. All right. So we're starting off with Fighting Energy. Could it be the Zapdos? That would be cool, huh? Spiral Energy. Honey. Avery. Cast form. I love this cast form art. Look at that guy. Uh, Ladybug. Uh, Golette. Calabapus. Cast form. Snowy form. We have an NK. Reverse. And on the back, last card of the last pack of the video, guys. What is it going to be? Let's see. It is a Rillaboom Hollow. So nothing too crazy, but Rapid Strike Rillaboom. A very, very cool card indeed. I love the art on this guy. Uh, Wood Drain. 60, heal 30 from yourself. Uh, Raging Repeated Strike, 120. Discard um, any amount of energy from your Pokemon, any of your Pokemon. And this attack does 30 more for each card you discard it this way. So actually a very powerful attacker there. But stage 280 HP on this guy as well. Uh, so absolutely super, super cool. All right. I guess we can go through the cards that we have pulled. Um, 
I per you know, perhaps. I don't I don't see why not. Give me one second. I'm just gonna like, you know, get some things organized. So when we go through it, um, you know, it's in a decent order. So we opened 16 packs in total. Uh, we had a hollow greedent. Uh, we have a hollow Tapu Fini, a hollow Rillaboom, hollow Galarian Slowking, and a hollow Weavile. Those were our hollow rares um, from these packs. But we did pull, uh, you know, four, you know, like, I don't know exactly what to call the rarities, but four, like, pretty legit pulls uh, from the from the uh, the 16 packs. And that was Tornadus V here. Uh, we had a Sandaconda V, both cards I already had before, but you know what? I'm not complaining. Uh, we also pulled a Full Art Agatha which, you know, you love to see it. A very cool card. And then our biggest pull of the video of today was the gold electrode shiny. I love it. Super cool. Great card. It really is. Uh, very happy to have this card. So anyway, there it is. All right, guys, that's going to wrap it up for the video. Again, thank you so much for watching. Uh, we don't do openings a lot on the channel, so I don't know if you guys are really into it uh, per se, but, you know, hopefully you guys like this. Uh, it's new stuff, new cards. So, you know, it might be kind of cool uh, just to kind of see what's in the new set. Uh, but a very playable set, very good competitive set, which again is what we're all about here on the Chill TCG channel. So, um, you know what? Uh, I'm excited. I'm excited. And, and, and don't worry. So when it comes out and all these cards and this new set comes out on PTCGO, we're going to be doing deck profiles. We're going to be doing tournaments with, with Chilling Reigns prizing. Uh, we're going to be doing all that sorts of stuff. So if you're interested in how Chilling Reigns is going to change the competitive format, uh, standard format for the Pokemon trading card game, you know, don't worry. We'll get into that, uh, you know, in the next few weeks. I'm super, super excited. Uh, anyway, big shout out to the Pokemon company. Um, TPCI, I mean, they were absolutely amazing to me uh, this time around, just sending me a bunch of, of the new product early and we were able to open it. Uh, really, it means the world to me. It was super, super awesome. Uh, so, you know, big shout out to the Pokemon company. Also, big shout out to PTCGO store or zone, <laughs> not store, zone, PTCGO zone. Uh, they are our sponsor. They're the sponsor of Chill TCG and Chill Series Tournament. So definitely go check them out. Uh, go follow them on Twitter. Uh, so yeah, anyway, that was it, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, sorry if the video quality wasn't great. Honestly, I don't have a great setup. I don't really know what else to do with it. So I do apologize. But anyway, guys, thank you so much. Uh, you guys have a great day. Uh, more videos coming in the future. Don't forget to play in Chill Series number 30. Four, which is coming up if you if you is if anybody sorry everybody who plays in this tournament guys I, I should have mentioned this at the beginning everybody who plays in the chill series number 34 tournament regardless of how well you do you get a free uh shiny crobat v and v max codes uh you know courtesy of ptcgo zone so definitely go check that out link to register will be down in the description below all right guys we're gonna get out of here thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to like the video subscribe i've been maddie from chill tcg you guys have a great day and uh, i'll see you guys soon